All right, I'm coming to you from beautiful Sunshine Lake in Weatherford, Texas, my old hometown. I'm out here with my nephew, Jason. That's Jason. We will be filming a Dutch oven cooking video, um, how to make a Tex-Mex cornbread casserole. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about the tools. First of all, I'm using a 10 inch Dutch oven. This is the lid. Got a lid holder. Comes in handy quite a bit. Uh, this is also, I like this lid holder. It's pretty cool. You'll see it later when I'm, when I'm actually doing all this. Um, a foldable, this is kind of cool because it will fold up and actually fit in my bag right here with the Dutch oven. And this is what I do the charcoal in. It's a very cool gadget. And you must have some tongs to move the charcoal around. Okay, now walk over here and I'll show you another cool thing. Most parks have a barbecue grill like this. You can get this tray, it's an aluminum tray, at Walmart and all you have to do is lower this down all the way and it fits in there perfect and you got a little wind break the winds blowing this way you got a little wind break to block the wind and it just works perfect Okay, the reason I call this Texican cornbread casserole instead of Mexican cornbread casserole is because when I went to Mexico, all the authentic Mexican dishes didn't have cheese in them at all. Cheese is a Texas thing because we have so many cows here in our state. So I'm turning this into Texican instead of Mexican because the cheese makes it Tex-Mex. Okay, so here are the ingredients we're gonna need to do this. First of all, the most important thing, this is taco meat. Last night I cooked three pounds. This is only a pound. Now the way I make taco meat, okay, I brown hamburger meat with onion powder and garlic powder. Once it's browned, then I add in Rotel tomatoes and some water and the taco seasoning mix, the big McCormick's that you can get in the big things. I put that in there. I let it simmer until the water evaporates, not all the way out, but most of the way out and it makes perfect taco meat. That's how I always make it. And I have it vacuum packed, of course, because I do that when I can't. The second thing is Mexican street corn. This is from Costco, and this is the coolest thing ever. I made some of this the other night, um, but it's, it's basically Mexican street corn. And it comes with some little cheese stuff that goes with it. Now, because I'm using this, I will not be using whole kernel corn, but if you don't have Mexican street corn, you're gonna use a can of whole kernel corn, sweet corn. I will be using the, the cream style corn. This adds to it greatly. And then you gotta have shredded cheddar cheese. I got two boxes of, of Jiffy corn muffin mix, an egg and a third a cup of milk goes with each box. I've got third cups marked on my milk. 
I may or may not use both boxes. I probably will. We just have to see how full the uh, Dutch oven is getting. And then diced green chilies, got to have those. Wouldn't be Tex-Mex without jalapenos. And that's all the ingredients. All right, first thing we need to do, make sure we got some oil in here. So it doesn't stick. This is kind of hard to do with this wind, but we're gonna attempt this. Now we need to add a third cup of milk. I've pre-measured. And that's a third of a cup. All right, then we got a box of Jiffy cornbread mix. And it's windy. Oh, it's going everywhere. This is your basic cornbread mix right here. But we're gonna add to it. All right, cream style corn. We're gonna put half a can in. I hate this can opener. Oh man, this is why I don't. Worst can opener ever. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's not on the lens. Okay. Good. I think this is about slicing my finger up. Okay. Okay. Half a can. It's definitely a challenge cooking in the wind. All right. So we got the cream style corn in there. Now we want to add. The Mexican street corn. I'm going to open it. And we want to save half a can of this. This is very messy. All right, here we go. Save that for later. Pour the rest of this in here. All right, now this is all mixed together. I'm kind of thinking uh, we're probably only gonna do one box because this is making a lot. We're gonna put half of our batter in there. And I think that's about half. Spread it around. All right, and then all the meat. Next, we're going to add the rest of this corn, uh, which is going to be a little tricky. Uh, we got leaves blowing <laughs> on our stuff here. All right, there we go. The rest of the corn. Smooth that out. Then we want to do about half of the cheese. burn up before we get started over there. Just 
Grand Central Station out here. Now, let's see if we could get this can opener to work. The green chilies. This is seriously the worst can opener I've ever had. It's going, it goes so far and then it freaks out. Is that the can right in there? There's metal going in the food. <laughs> Anything else in there? All right. I think I opened it enough we can use it. <clears throat> Maybe. I actually watched my mom chop her finger off this way. <laughs> Literally. Note to self, buy another can opener. <laughs> I think that's it. We're now ready. jalapenos. Yep. Alright, cut the ends off of these. I'm gonna do slices. Spread these around on here. I'm actually gonna put those last ones on top so they will be actually be roasted. Something new I learned this year. You know what roasted jalapenos are called? Chipotle peppers. A chipotle pepper is a roasted jalapeno. I learned that this year, I didn't know that before. Now we do the rest of this. What is that? Rest of the cornbread batter mix. Might should have had more, I don't know. Now we do the rest of the cheese. Circle of seven. Almost waited too long. These charcoal briquettes are burning down. So we're just making a circle. Circle of seven. We do a rule of thirds. If it's a 10 inch Dutch oven, you do three under on the bottom, which means seven. And you do three over on the top. So 10, 11, 12, 13 on the top. And that gets it to 350 degrees. That's what we want to cook this at. All right. You want to These things are almost burnt out. <laughs> I may have to move more charcoal before it's over. These are burnt down, so I may do more than 13 on top. I'm just going to do a ring all the way around. Because it took so long to get the ingredients in the, together, let my charcoal burn down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
13. I'm gonna do one more because these are so burnt down. And there we go. Now, one other thing. You wanna turn the lid so lodge is horizontal facing you. Because you're gonna spin this, you're gonna spin this around one way and the lid around the other way to make it come back. All right, I set the timer for 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, we're gonna turn the whole Dutch oven counterclockwise about a half a turn and turn the lid back clockwise to where we see the lodge level again. <laughs>